Inside the walls of the National Institutes of Health Clinical Center, major medical milestones have been reached, like the development of chemotherapy for cancer and the first treatment of AIDS. Dr. Pete Choiki is hoping recent research on targeted light therapy, called photoimmunotherapy, will lead to another medical milestone in the treatment of cancer. We stumbled upon something that could kill cancer cells and leave normal cells alone using a light therapy that was completely harmless, the, at the same energy that comes out of a flashlight. And it was just astounding, it still is. The research, which was done by Dr. Hisataka Kobayashi and his team, was performed on mice and hasn't yet been tested on humans. But if it did prove effective in humans, Dr. Choiki says this targeted therapy could change treatment as we know it for some types of cancers, eliminating the side effects that come along with current treatments like radiation and chemotherapy. Chemotherapy and radiation therapy are relatively nonspecific kinds of therapies. They affect cancer cells, but they also affect normal cells. So in the case of chemotherapy, it's not uncommon for people to lose their hair or to have GI problems related to chemotherapy. So it's sort of a sledgehammer approach to killing cancer. It kills the cancer, but it kills normal cells as well, and that creates side effects that can be very debilitating. Here's how photoimmunotherapy works. Monoclonal antibodies, which are laboratory-produced proteins, are joined with dye molecules that respond to light. After the combination is injected into a mouse with cancer, the antibodies begin to search for cancer cells and attach to them. When the mouse is exposed to near-infrared light, the dye molecules attract the light, and Dr. Choiki says the cancer cells are successfully targeted. Under the microscope, you can see the changes almost immediately after the light is applied. After just a single dose of the light, Dr. Kobayashi says there was dramatic tumor shrinkage, and he says the treatment appears to be safe in mice. No toxicity, no heat on that light. So you can put our hand on that right, so that really, you know, the, uh, that can prove that not the toxic. In order to test photoimmunotherapy in humans, they'll have to get a clinical trial started. The next step is to take it into people, where, of course, there are differences between uh, animals and people. So we, we need to be, you know, cautiously optimistic that that translation will be successful. If it is, Dr. Choiki sees the possibilities as endless. We've actually thought about uh, devices that uh, patients might wear, everyday devices like uh, a necklace or a wristwatch that would emit light over the area that needs to be treated. It is kind of futuristic, a little bit Star Trek-y, but we're hopeful that one of these ideas will be successful. For Smart Talk, I'm Kira McGuire.